I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice question based on calculus. The question here is the equation of tangent line to the curve y equals to 1 plus kx divided by 2 minus kx at x equals to 1 is y equals to 9x minus 13. Now we need to find the value of k. So find value of k. Okay, so that is the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now actually I have simplified this question for the viewers who haven't done calculus, right? So I have simplified and the next version where you need to understand calculus or at least rate of change uh, will be dealt in the next video, right? Let us see how to solve this equation. Now the question is, the equation of tangent line to this curve at x equals to 1 is y equals to that value. Now on the curve there is a point and this point is common to the curve as well as the tangent line, right? So it is the same point. So we can take advantage of that. What we are saying here is that x equals to 1 then what is y equals to? Then y equals to 9 times 1 minus 13, right? And that gives me 9 minus 13, and that is minus 4. Perfect. So that means the point 1 minus 4 is on the curve uh, y equals to 1 plus kx divided by 2 minus kx. Does it make sense to you? So this is the point on the tangent line. Since this tangent line is on that curve, this point is also on that curve. So if I substitute x as 1, y is minus 4 here, I should be in a position to find the value of k. And therefore, solve it like a linear equation, right? That's what we will do now. So we substitute y as minus 4. So we could write this as minus 4 equals to 1 plus k times x value of 1 divided by 2 minus k times 1, right? So, and then we can cross multiply. So we get minus 4 times 2, this is minus k, equals to 1 plus k, right? And then we can rearrange. So let me just open this up. So we have minus 8 plus 4k equals to 1 plus k. And let's solve this on the right side and check our answer. I hope you found this method very easy, right? So bringing k to this side gives us 4k minus k equals to 8 on the other side, 1 plus 8. And that is 3k equals to 9 and k equals to 9 divided by 3. That means k equals to 3. So k equals to 3 is our answer, which is choice B. Correct? So that is how you could solve this equation without using any concepts of calculus. So it becomes a very straightforward uh, question. And this question could be a question for SAT people, GMAT, GRE. It's a very, very important question. And I hope that helps you to also understand the concept. Now, look at my next video, which is very similar with slight change. I'll remove this number 13 with a constant. Then will not know exactly what y is and that's where calculus can be used to solve similar questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you are enjoying this process of learning. Thank you and all the best.